I just watched the first episode of SD Gundam Sangokurin Brave Battle Warriors. It's 51 episodes long, all 11 minutes each, and it's really good. It's basically a retelling of Romance of the Three Kingdoms through little SD Gundams. I have no experience with the literature of Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I don't know about any of the games, but there is a crap ton of media surrounding it, so I probably shouldn't have started with with the story with an adorable Gundam version of it but regardless it is it is really fun there there's really not much to say about it it's just adorable little robots going through a serious sort of war story and it's it's really fun there's there's nothing to say about it other than it's just enjoyable. I, I'm actually surprised that I didn't drop it because it is very, very long, but I think it is worth watching because with, with these sort of war stories that go on for a long time, they, they really allow themselves to, to really flesh out these things. And with you know, little mecha shows and with kids shows, I like how long they are because of the pacing, you know? I love long shows that I can put on for hours on end, and this is definitely one of those. It's very charming, and it's very, very fun so far. It's And it's surprisingly emotional for just a story about little robots in in some kind of feudal society. It's very weird. It's robots trying to save their their village and their village is like chivalry so it's it's very very strange and it's it's really fun i i I'm just surprised that the thing even exists when such a weird concept SD Gundam combined with Romance of the Three Kingdoms. It's such a uniquely Japanese thing. You know, you take Chinese literature and then throw it in with, with Gundams. It's really cool. I like it quite a lot. And the Japanese voice actors are great. Uh, don't watch the dub. I watched part of the dub and it's really really bad. I have no idea who they contracted to 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 do that, but the all of the voice actors sounded horrible. But I really like the Japanese voice actors. They sound pretty good. So uh yeah. SD Gundam looks good, sounds good, the animation definitely looked great. It's very cute. It's a good time. I definitely recommend this one and watch the other SD Gundam because I remember that being pretty good, though I don't know if SD Gundam Force is actually subtitled, but uh, regardless, it's a good time. I'll definitely be watching more of this.